Thank you, Mr. Five Chairman. Minutes. Mr. Chairman, I support the underlying uh, amendment offered by the gentleman from Iowa, and uh, I'm opposed to the, the substitute amendment, and I'd urge my colleagues to uh, vote against that and for the underlying provision. We don't need to do a study of the, fifth, uh, of the uh, Commerce Clause of the United States Constitution. The Constitution is clear that it is the federal government that regulates interstate commerce uh, and not the state of California or any other state. Uh, and the impact of uh, leaving this unchecked uh, is, I think, very devastating to our economy. Our economy was uh, built upon the concept that we had one open opportunity to sell goods all across America. And uh, we had a, a failed Articles of Confederation before we adopted our Constitution. One of the principal reasons the Constitution was adopted was to assure that states could not regulate businesses outside their jurisdiction. So the problem we have here is that when California says they want uh, eggs sold in their state, even if they're raised in Iowa or Arkansas or Ohio or wherever they're raised, uh, to certain California specifications, that means that uh, if uh, Texas and uh, Illinois and Pennsylvania wrote different specifications, you would totally balkanize uh, the American economy. So I think this amendment, which was adopted previously, is well thought out uh, and should be adopted by the committee. And I think a, a study which simply delays the issue uh, is not a good idea. If you're going to protect open American agriculture and competition, uh, the King Amendment is the way to go about doing that. I urge my colleagues to support the King Amendment and oppose the substitute.